So this next video I want to show you is a video to kind of help people be a more complete physician. So oftentimes in the inpatient world, we forget that the patient will exist after they leave the hospital. So this kind of addresses a couple of things. So one, if you have an allergic reaction, or if you see something, you want to go to allergies here and you want to enter a new allergy. So let's say they were allergic to penicillins and this person's probably already allergic to penicillin given their nightmare of an allergy list. But you can type in penicillin here or if you find the local drug name and you can click OK and you can enter it as observed or historical and if you saw it then you should enter it and then severity as severe or whatever and then put in whatever happens so let's say this person had uh, anaphylaxis anaphylactic reaction so this is a big one you don't want to do this again so you would click penicillin date anaphylaxis and hit okay and then and then you have to click this nature of reaction and we'll say allergy and very bad patient needed intubation and ECMO. So this is a bad one. You don't want this one. So hit OK. And it's already entered, so you can't enter it. But if penicillin hadn't been entered, you could have entered it. So and here's the allergy list, so you need to find those. And then the other thing I want to show you is this problem list. So this problem list is really useful if it's up to date. In fact, it should theoretically be the past medical history. Unfortunately, providers forget to update it. And so the way to update this is that you go to new problem, and let's say they had a DVT in the hospital while you were taking care of them. That's something that you really want to put into their medical record so that every provider has easy access to it. And so you can go DVT of bilateral lower extremities, click OK, and then another text box will pop up, and you can give a comment and a date. So let's say um, on September 20th, 2016. It's actually right now September 15th, so I'm actually predicting something bad to happen to this woman. I feel bad for her, but I don't at the same time. Uh, and you can say bilateral, and then importantly, you can put things that provoked in here to be on AC times three months, for instance. And you can hit OK, and this will pop up any time that anyone pulls up her list or any time anyone blows in the past medical history into a note. So this can be really useful, and you can see it right here. Um, and it tells the last update date. And so this is really useful in like CHF exacerbations. You can put in their last echo results, DVTs, um, valvulopathies, but really any condition that you have that a patient has that is in, not in acute condition that they'll be managed for a while from should be on this list because this list gets referred to a lot not only by residents but also by attending providers as well as outpatient providers that are following up. So I hope that this helps. I hope that this kind of explains the problem list and, as well as allergies. And I hope that you guys are better doctors for this, honestly. Okay, well, I hope that this helps.